welcome thank you for stopping by i appreciate you thank you so much thank you two years ago or thereabouts yes i made a similar video as this i am about to make now and some persons came to me oh it is wrong for me to say that and i had to do a reaction video apologizing but today i am here to make similar video because i've realized that apologizing for saying that then i was wrong but i was just coming into the internet i don't really know how it works I have had a lot of persons, ladies, come to me, complain of this same thing. And I told them the basic truth, nothing but the truth. And to the glory of God, some of them promised that they will hands off from that. Now, the point is, some of them want to get married. Some of them want things to work for them. Things are not working this, this. Please do not misquote me. Favor, blessing comes from God. No man can give you anything except God. Except if you want to get it the other way around. But if you want to gradually, step by step, wait on God, then I'm telling you which is the best. Favor comes from God Almighty. It doesn't even matter all these natural things we are practicing, this, that, that. This is just like an addition. It is only God that favors a man. Some of them complain, oh, I've been doing these natural things, it's not working for me. I've been, um, I want to get married, it's not working. Um, nothing works for me, this, that, that, that. And sometimes I am led to ask a very simple question. Please come with me. I will tell you why I'm making this particular video. Because it baffles me to hear someone that should be on his side. Like directing someone spiritually. Then you are telling them to do this thing. If they want things to work for them. The devil has diverse way of manipulating human, destroying destinies, great destinies. Now, I ask one question. Ever since you've been doing this, all the men that come to you, this is not just about women, please. It affects every sex. All the men that come to you, they just take advantage of you and they leave. They don't marry you. And the purpose why you are giving them your yourself is for them to marry you. All the while you have been doing this, things have not been moving or working for you. Now, why don't you genuinely stop doing this, pray to God and ask God for mercy, and do these natural things to see how it will turn out. Before we were born, every one of us has our destinies written what you will be who you will end up with every step of life is written but sometimes the enemy or we knowingly and unknowingly we alter or delay the um what is written by some things we do god is a god of mercy before you ask me other persons have been doing this and they are succeeding they are excelling and why am I doing it? The head we carry is not the same. The head we carry is not the same. Aside God saying that is a sin against our flesh. Hmm? There are some rules of life. There are some um, celestial, how do they call it? Celestial powers. Take it or leave it. Pure spirits. I'm not talking about bad spirits that walks and foresees the affairs of men. There are some spirits that are assigned to you when you are coming to life. And if the destiny you carry does not agree with premarital sex, once you are having that, nothing 
tends to work. Instead, everything will seems like they are working against you. Some of us are meant to be blessings in the life of others. Some of us are meant to be givers. But, premarital mating has destroyed that. You find yourself being at the mercy of others. Yes. The last time I made the video, some person said, oh, I am not here to judge anybody. I am not perfect. The fact that we sin differently does not make you better than the other. But that will not stop me from saying the truth because I feel this people, someone will say, oh, why is she, she, doesn't she know that maybe some people are living on that, that's how some people survive. Why would she say that? This is for the younger generations. Why did I say younger generations? They are younger ones coming up searching the internet probably they find something like this it could change their life it could stop a mistake this is not me judging anyone because i am not perfect but there is one thing i want to tell us every other sin we commit is outside our body god himself knows why he was against premarital mating Aside you carrying soul ties, the, dis uh, the spiritual destructions, it also has its physical destructions. Sometimes one end up getting some ailments, they will start running about for years, this and all that. There is no way you keep doing if your chi does not accept it. There is no way. You keep having premarital mating and you keep doing these natural things or whatever and things will work for you. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. And the truth still remains, especially this generation, it has become like something that is normal. The funny thing about the enemy is, whatever you are getting, the enemy will make you feel or believe that, oh, you are on top, you are making money. Not knowing that your destiny eh, is even to gift people more than what they give you before they met. They, 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 and the glories, glories are stolen. A lot of glories have been sold on the altar of premarital medicine. If, if you have been doing it before, it is not late. As long as you hands off and say, God, I am sorry. Forgive me. I don't want this life again. It will not be easy. It will not be easy. But with determination. Then if you have not done it before, believe me, please, you don't need to lose that great virtue you are carrying on the altar of five minutes or whatever amount they promise you. A lot of great people today are wallowing about just because of premarital meeting. You can't be having premarital medicine and then be doing these natural things and you say it doesn't work for you, this, that, 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 that. Premarital medicine even clouds your mind to make the right judgments. That is why you see maybe you know that this person or relationship is not good for you. But because there is premarital medicine, so tight, you have shared something in common. You may not be able to take that decision that may save you from a lot of future um, whatever. It clouds the mind. So I beg of you today, search deep. Search deep. And say no more to premarital meeting. And watch God in his mercy. In his mercy. Perfect all that you have been struggling, running around just to get, acquire, 
under premarital meeting, watch God help you achieve a lot within a short period of time. Watch the angels that guide you, the angels you came to life with, direct your step. And you'll be like, wow. Now, what brought about this? How on earth? I don't want to specify which um, this thing. How on earth do you tell another? How on earth do you tell a lady that she is supposed to be sleeping if she wants to make it in life? How on earth is that possible? If I mention the kind of person that said this to the person, eh, you will be shocked. He just wants her to lose her virtue, to lose her glory. He may have seen her star. He may have seen what God destined her to be. So the only way he can help the enemy to achieve it is to tell her to start that she's destined to be, if she wants to get, to be getting money. How? Why? Why would you tell someone else's child such? Such, sorry. Dear sisters, dear brothers, don't let anyone steal your glory on the altar of premarital medicine. If you have been in it, it's not late. Take that bold decision. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. But I tell you, you will look back and it will worth it. That man that is destined for you, even if you tell him, I am not going to give you, because destiny has written that he is yours. Believe me, he will be yours. But if destiny has not written that he is yours, you give, yeah, that's why you keep complaining, I've given them, I gave them everything, at the end they still live. They will live. You are busy collecting soul ties, negative energies. This, this, carrying their own demons, carrying their own whatever they are carrying spiritually, they dump it on you. This is applicable to both men and women. Let's have a rethink. Please, parents, talk to your children. Sometimes it starts from the home. Talk to them. Sometimes it's not even about the money. Talk to them. Please, please. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. Thank you.